Good evening. I hope uh, the sound quality is good. Please, I, I would like to, I would like to know that. My fellow countrymen and countrywomen, it's been a long time that I spoke to you live on Facebook. I said in my last appearance that I would retreat to the tunnel to continue the work for the liberation of our homeland. It has been a very difficult 12 months for the people of Ambazonia. A 12 months within which time they have suffered all forms of humiliation from Cameroon. Our people have been kidnapped, our women raped, our boys tortured, thousands shipped to Cameroon where they are languishing in the dungeons of Kondengi. We have watched, we have resisted, we have appealed, we have begged for reason. I would like all of us to observe a moment of silence on behalf of all those who have laid their lives for the restoration of the state of Ambazonia, especially the people of Manu County who are currently being hemmed in by the forces of Cameroon. My fellow Ambazonians, we are facing a great tragedy in our homeland. A couple of months ago, I laid out the vision for the liberation of our country. I define it as a triad approach to our liberation based on studies, based on the understanding of the beast that we are dealing with. I brought together targeted diplomacy that will seek countries that can recognize our state. I talked about internationalization, which involve mobilizing our people, mobilizing the international community to understand our pain, so they can bat for us in prime time. I traveled around the world because I believe sincerely that when you meet people face to face in boardroom meetings, they have a better appreciation and understanding of the nature of the struggle. They have a better understanding of the contribution that is required of them so we can move the struggle to the next level. I move from country to country to build confidence in the minds of our people, to make them the primary investors in their own liberation. I made them to understand what is at stake, the difficulties we are going to face. I told them about the revolutionary curve, how it goes up and how it comes down. I told them in New York that this will not be a walk in the park because for over 25 years I have studied and understood the Bia regime as a regime that does not negotiate its way out of impasses. I made our people to understand that this will be a hard struggle. I told them it will be fought block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, county by county, and rooftop by rooftop. I prepared your minds for these days so that when it finally comes, you understand the price you will have to pay for your own freedom. 
I also told you that there is a, a essential ingredient which has been missing in our struggle. The right of our people to defend themselves. I educated our people on the necessity of this right. I explained the different stages, the four stages of this approach. Phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. I went across the globe to bring our people on the same page with the leadership. Because this revolution, from its inception, has been a bottom-up revolution. A revolution controlled by the people whose destiny is at stake. I told you it will be difficult. I told you to be prepared. One of the most interesting things about our revolution is that our people are excited. Our people are united. Not only bonded together for the objectives of this revolution, but to make sure no one, not even myself, is able to mortgage their future. Fellow Ambazonians, I prepared your mindset for this day. I told you Cameroon will use helicopter gun ships when it could. I told you they are going to maul down our people. We are facing a regime that has no pity. We are facing a system that is determined to occupy our country, determine our future, and destroy our own way of life. A revolution is not something that you attach yourself in it in an ad hoc nature. When we built the international mobilization campaign to bring together our people, we understood that it would be needed at this particular moment. We knew that our people would be needed not only to support the foundation of this revolution, but to keep it in their own hands, to make sure they are the primary investors in it, so they can own the outcome. At one point in the revolution, there was the talk about unity. And I said repeatedly, we need to be united, as we have fought for many years to be united. But we must reject any form of unity that resembles the kind of unity Cameroon imposes on us. Ambazonians must demand the best because we, we have had an experience with Cameroon that sold cheap unity. If the Fonchas and the Mooners fought as hard as we are fighting today for a perfect unity that is representative of the constituent bodies that laid the foundation of that unity, we wouldn't have been in this mess today. Fellow citizens, we must understand the nature of the regime we are dealing with. We must understand the nature of the systems that backs the BR regime. We must understand the international system that they don't care about our own existence, that they are interested in our resources, they are interested in supporting Cameroon. And so if we want to build a foundation of unity, it must be reflective of the value systems that we intend to install in Boya. We must reject all the systems that we have learned for 56 years under Cameroon. We must reject nepotism. We must reject bribery. We must reject the kind of systems where people gain appointments because they do bidding for others. It must be based on merit. It must be based on what you have to offer and contribute to erecting a stronger Amazonia. We will continue to fight for unity. 
But I want to assure you, we will not accept any kind of unity. Because that is the kind of system we accepted under Cameroon and remain as slaves for 56 years. And each time we rose up to question the legality and legitimacy of Cameroon's so-called unitary system within our country, we were told Cameroon was one and indivisible. That any deviance, any opposition to the system imposed by Cameroon must be rejected. We stood our grounds for more than 20 years. We said Ambazonia is an independent country occupied by Cameroon. 25 years later, the silent majority of our people have risen up to oppose the same system that we have lived under. As we move forward in building the institutions for a new country, they must be laid on a foundation of fairness, mutual understanding, consensus building, and good faith. Fellow citizens of Ambazonia, we left the political stage and concentrated in building the foundation upon which our people could defend themselves. We work so hard despite the difficulties, despite the domestic and external attacks. We work so hard in building self-defense. Our people have risen. They have been fighting from county to county. The people of Manu are fighting on a daily basis. Supported by the expertise of the ADF. I also want to thank other self-defense groups like that of Sofonja. Sokadev of Mr. Akwanga. For what they have done in laying the foundation so that our people can rise up and defend themselves. Fellow Ambazonians, each time we have laid the foundation, some of you have rejected the cornerstone upon which that foundation is supposed to stand. Give me the chance to prosecute this campaign. Do not make the mistake again as we did within the political platform to take it away and give it to a new set of persons. Give me the chance to prosecute this campaign. I know how to do it. I might not be perfect, but I can assure you that the BR regime understands my resilience, it understands my focus, it understands my strategy, and it knows its days within the state of Ambazonia are numbered. Give me the chance to prosecute this campaign. If you model the waters, if you take it again and introduce new actors, we will be here again in the next 25 years. Ambazonians, I told you from the beginning, you must become the primary investors in your own liberation so that you can fully own the outcome. This is the time for all of you to invest your blood as the sons and daughters of mine are doing the sons and daughters of the county of Mezam are doing, in Meme they are doing. I want you to invest all what you have to support the forces of the ADF and its associates, which one of our comrades has described as restoration forces, to prosecute the campaign for the defense of the homeland. I heard Mr. Bia declared war on us. Ayijo did that in 1961. 
when they invaded our land, took over our resources, occupied our cities, brutalized our people, and made a mockery of our own values. Let me let Cameroon understand you are facing a new generation, more determined to sacrifice, to fight, and to lay their life for what is genuinely theirs. Ambazonians, this is our country, ours to own, to live in, in peace, exploit its resources, build our capabilities and our abilities, fulfill our dreams as human beings with dignity. We will fight inch by inch, neighborhood by neighborhood, to make sure we can defend the territorial integrity of Ambazonia. For you brave patriot volunteers in the homeland, I give you 21 gun salute that despite the difficulties, despite the presence of the army of the occupier, you have fought them in the night, during the day. You have not given up, even when your comrades have been kidnapped and taken to Yaoundé. You have showed them that you have the resilience because the land belongs to you. Ambazonia is our resting place. We cannot afford to lose Manu. We control territory within which our flag flies. I call upon all of you to give me the chance to defend Manu. Give me the resources to defend Manu. When the liberation must have been done, it will be time for nation building. Then the leaders that you will choose to govern your country will be selected or elected. We are at war. This is a revolution. You need focus. You need a plan. You need a strategy. You cannot just pick one along the way. You must be the vision bearer. And for the past 25 years, we have shown you that we are dedicated to the liberation of our homeland using every means possible. Fellow countrymen and women, you are brave warriors. Do not be scared of Cameroon. We will humble them. We will defeat them. We will bundle them out of Ambazonia. And we will chase all those who have hurt our people to the gates of hell. Bring them to justice for the pain they have caused to you. Hold them accountable for the exploitation and extortion. And make sure they pay reparation for 56 years of thuggery, theft, and imposition of barbarism. My fellow countrymen and women, from today, you are soldiers of the revolution. Be brave, be committed. I will be in Washington next weekend to brief our people. I invite you to come. I invite you to provide the resources so we can cover our airspace. My fellow citizens, respect your leaders. You might disagree with them. Give them respect. Show some love for Siseko Tabe, Akwanga Ebeneza, Bo Herbert, So Foncha, Tassan Wilfred, and others. Show some love. It's a difficult job. It's a difficult job. I want to thank you all for your dedication to the ideals for which Akum gave his life. Together as a people, we are going to prevail. If I'm not there tomorrow, pick up the button of leadership. It is a fight we cannot afford to lose. This is our last chance to make Ambazonia great again. God bless you all. God save Ambazonia.